Ok. We have here, this is the first floor, at the, at the zero floor, we have another part related to uh, knife skills, okay? And here, it's not, it's, this is not, different knife skills, we have another video related to the, to the safety, okay? It's really important, those who have been uh, working in, in a kitchen with knives, uh, almost uh, everyone has suffered uh, some kind of accidents. In our school, we have uh, 500 students, okay? And we have suffered a lot of uh, accidents with knives. And it's really important to take some measures to avoid them, okay? It's really, really important. Very basic me measures. It's when you are walking in a very crowded place with a knife, okay, it's really important to maintain the knife, okay, stuck to you, not to go with the knife uh, pointing out anyone. To use clothes, okay, when you are deboning is really important as well. And when you offer a knife, please offer by the handle, through the handle, okay, this way. And we, for uh, in order to sanitize the knives, we, we use mainly uh, washing these washing devices, okay, washing machines, okay? So we can sanitize. The fingers, really important to put them properly. Okay. And other uh, to, to take into account safety measures when we use uh, knives. Okay, really, really important. Here we have is the main part, uh, typical way to, to maintain the knives. Also, we maintain them with uh, magnetic stones here, okay, stuck on the wall. And uh, this is related, mainly related with knives knife skills. Any question, any doubt, any suggestion about sa those safety measures? We always, every year, eh, we have like two, uh, two phases, two parts uh, related in our school with knives. The first part the first part is very, uh, when we start the school year, the students are very cautious, very, very uh, almost scary with knives, specifically, especially with big knives, okay? And they uh, take a lot of care with knives. Uh, the school year starts in September. When, the, when we uh, take the Christmas holidays, uh, we bring our school knives to sharpen them to, to a a company, they sharpen all of the knives, okay? We have a lot of knives in our school. And when students come back from the Christmas holidays uh, in January, they are more confident with knives and it's very typical to have the uh, the worst accidents at that period because they, are, uh, they have lost a bit of respect to knives and then happen the, the most uh, uh, serious accidents. So it's really, really important to say, to follow the safety measures. Okay. This is what, when it comes to the first part, the knives, knife skills. Okay. Then we have the part related with the correct miss and plus. Okay. Th 
the second part. Mission plus, which means uh, everything at its uh, place, okay? The mission, the mission plus uh, aspect, okay? We divide in our school, mainly we divide the, the shift, okay, into two parts. The first part is connected to uh, production time. The first part of the shift is when you chop the vegetables, when you portion the fish or the meat, when you prepare the broths or the stocks or the sauces, okay? You uh, make, you do the previous preparations, okay? In this part, the production, we call the production part, okay? Then we have like a stop, we pick up everything, we clean and wash everything, and we prepare the mission plus for the service time, okay? Everything ready for the service time. And here we have different materials, videos and materials related to mission plus, okay? You can see the... the You can see the PowerPoint, the presentation, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, very basics of uh, correct mise en place, okay? Very basics. Why it's so important, the mise en place? The mise en place, okay, is to have everything at its place and everything at its place doesn't mean that everything has to be at your site, okay? You, can, you cannot have during a service time uh, the fish at room temperature. It's important to maintain the fish, for instance, for example, in the refrigerator, but you, don't, you have to know where it is, okay? You don't have to uh, waste your time looking for things during the service time because they are very busy times, okay, very stressing times. Okay, so you don't have to stop your service time to look for any tool, material, or ingredient. Okay, and the, this careful previous planning is called the mise en place. The mise en place is to have ready, and it means to organize your time, your ingredients, your space, and your materials. Okay. It's not only to have the materials ready, but it's to organize everything. This part is the preliminary preparations. Take into account the reservation of your restaurant. Okay, the mission plus is not the same when you have a banquet, when you have a, a la carte or fine dining uh, service, okay, or a fast food restaurant. Or the mission plus is according to the kind of the restaurant on and according to the amount of reservations, okay? Uh, for, uh, for the mise en place, for the service time, the sources and stocks have to be at their, their best. What does at their best mean? Have to be at their uh, best temperature, okay? At their uh, best, uh, at their ideal texture, okay? They have to be uh, hot, the sources that have to be hot or cold, the hoses, sources that have to be cold and the texture has to be perfect, okay? Uh, the main ingredients have to be ready to cook, okay? The, the main ingredient, the fish, the principal ingredient has to be ready to cook and the seasoning ingredients also have to be ready, okay? And the decoration elements. What's the purpose of those preliminary preparations. The purpose of those preliminary preparation is that the, the during the service time, the first plate that you serve has to be the same way, has to be served the same way that the last one, okay? You have to be consistent and regular during the whole service time. Mise en place of the materials. You have to collect necessary utensils, 
and uh, ser for service like spatulas, pots, pans, whatever. Okay, you have to be, uh, you have to have them ready for the service time. Uh, the machinery has to be ready. It's very typical in our school, okay, that uh, the, when service time is going to start and we forget to switch on the salamander or an oven or or we uh, start switching the charcoal too late and the, the grill is not ready for the service time, okay, so it's really important the, to get the machinery ready. And the same with the plates, okay, have to be at their optimal temperature, okay, cold room temperature or hot. There are some plates that were, if you are going to plate something hot, it's important the plate uh, to be hot, okay, because in I think two, three minutes, uh, if the plate is cold and the preparation, the, the what you are plating is hot, it gets cold very, very fast. Okay, and the customer eats, eats it far, uh, cold, so uh, it's important the, the temperature of the plate. Okay, this is missing place, it's a very common mistake. Eh? Uh, the missing place of the space organize your station. An organized your station means to divide your station in uh, different parts. One part is the raw manipulation area. And my question is for you, what, what do we manipulate raw during the service time when you are serving something? What operation or what preparation do we make in a kitchen uh, with raw ingredients during the service time with ca when customer is uh, sitting down at the dining room and we are going to serve a meal. What kind of things? Uh, hello. Sorry. Uh, I think for the, for example, for the meat or the fish, the yes. raw, uh, the main ingredient uh, before serving, uh, we should keep that in in the warmer or in the warmer something. So if we serve the food. So it's really in the right temperature when it, when the waiter or someone will serve it to our customer. Very good. Yes, this could be an option. Okay, there are different options. One of it is if you are going to to roast, uh, I don't know, a tomahawk in on the grill, we cannot uh, take the tomahawk directly from the refrigerator to the grill. It has to be warmed beforehand, no, isn't it? Okay, this is very good. Uh, this is a very good point. This is a, an option. Another option is when we have big pieces, okay, uh, we have to portion the, the main ingredient during the service time, okay? If I have a, a, a whole uh, tuna and we are going to roast tuna slices, it's better to cut the tuna slices as they are as they are ordered okay beforehand because the preservation of the tuna is longer okay so i cut the tuna fish uh, when a portion is ordered because i don't need too much time to cut the tuna tuna slice okay so i need a, an area of my station in the mission in my mission plus i need to uh, maintain an area for manipulating those raw ingredients to portion fish or meat, okay, to cut a, a tomahawk or to cut a tuna slice to maintain a raw ingredient to warm the raw ingredient, okay, and also depending with the station, I need an area to prepare the salad, okay. So a raw manipulation area, it's important to maintain, uh, not mix with the cooking area, or with the plating area, okay? So I have somehow to divide it. What does it happen? In most, uh, in some, not most, but in some, in some restaurants, uh, at least uh, here, uh, the kitchens are really, really small, really small, okay? And my station could be just even uh, not the whole table, just a part of the table, okay? 
my station could be very, very uh, small in size. So it's important to use uh, vertical spaces, okay? Vertical spaces to, to divide my station somehow. And also the last part of this, uh, this uh, page, clean regularly during the serving time, okay? So the first tool that we have to set in our uh, mission plus in our station is the wipe really important to clean regularly because uh, we will start our service time with a very clean and tidy station but we will finish the service time like uh, the battle of saint quentin okay really really everything uh, disordered and uh, this makes us uh, work uh, worse okay so it's really important to clean regularly and Mission plans, the mission plans of the time. Okay, that's really also very, very important. And the clock rules in the kitchen. Okay, this is something that uh, uh, a chef that I had in in, in my restaurant uh, used to say me once and again. Okay, the clock rules in the kitchen is really important. So you have to establish some deadlines to finish the different stains, steps previous to the service time. Okay, so. I have to finish this before this time. I have to finish uh, this other part before this other part time. Okay, it's really really important to divide your shift. Okay, before the service time. Then, uh, the, this first part we call it the production time. Okay, here in Spain say la fase de producción, the production phase. Okay, is when you prepare all of the ingredients, the sources, the stocks, the broths, okay, for the service time. Then you have to take some time to uh, clean your station, to tidy up your station and to set the mission plus, okay, the materials, the ingredients, the sources, the uh, seasoning ingredients and the decoration ingredients, okay, the machinery as well. Okay, if you are uh, in charge of the grill, you have to uh, fire the charcoal, you have to prepare the plates, have to be hot, everything, okay? And uh, then uh, set picking up and washing routines after the service time, okay? It's important uh, the, the, during the service time, you clean and tidy up your station, Okay, and you maintain it ordered and uh, perfectly, but after the service time, you have to uh, set some routines. What's washed, uh, cleaned, ordered, and picked up every day, okay? To, uh, to maintain the kitchen ordered and for the next day, you have everything uh, where is it. Not only for materials and for washing aspects, but also to for preservation aspects, okay? What do we? What do I do with this tuna fish that I have portioned? How maintain it in the refrigerator? Covered with a kind of wipe in in what place? Okay, so uh, routines are really really important. Okay, when it comes to not also to, for the mission plus for during the service time and after the service time. And those are the main steps for uh, when it comes to the mission plus. My question for you is, which are the, the consequences of not a good service time? Have you ever, have you ever suffered them, this, those consequences? In a restaurant where you have been working or Have yes. you ever have you yes. ever felt yeah I I have been uh, like a practice work practice and then yes. uh, because as we are a student so we are not so much confident as a chef but we are running with the chef uh, the consultant is a customer like a, they quite complain in some point that uh, we are not preparing fast mm -hmm. enough especially as long time people have a short time come for lunch and then they they hunger and they need to run with their own time so cannot be 
uh, try to <laughs> make a less mistake that otherwise consequent is a customer yeah. not happy. Yeah, there are, the, the worst consequence is eff effectively that the customer is not happy, the service uh, gone wrong and uh, your business is not is not good for your business, of course, okay? And personally for, for us as a cook, as cooks, uh, I have been uh, suffered more, uh, more than once that when you collapse, uh, we say in, in Spanish that uh, the bull ha, uh, has caught you. Okay, tapilla del toro. Okay, is when uh, the service the the service time has uh, gone over you. Okay, it's, you collapse and it's, it's, it's like a chaos, uh, looking for things. You don't have material. You don't have the ingredients. Uh, the first uh, plates that you are plating go uh, with all of the ingredients, all of the decoration uh, elements with everything, but the last ones go uh, with uh, with half of the of the main ingredients, no decoration ingredients. Okay, uh, wrong wrongly plated. So it's really really uh, the consequences of not set a proper mise en place are really really uh, bad. Okay, so it's a very very important part in your pop up. Uh, event uh, please is the previous planning the previous planning is fundamental okay it's really really important to plan perfectly perfectly what you are going to do and uh, to divide uh, in in your in your teams to divide the all the tasks okay and to have perf perfectly set what you are going to do okay it's really really important uh, I don't know what kind of uh, service uh, you are going you you will do. It will be like uh, finding in service or okay, but it's really important to uh, the previous planning and the mission plus for the for the service time. Okay, to go uh, ordered and to have everything under control because when you feel that you have lost control of the service in the restaurant, that uh, happens because of. Uh, uh, lack of uh, proper uh, mise en place is really, really stressing. Okay, so you have different materials, and uh, I order to you a task, a homework. Uh, does anybody know what the recipe of Sol Menier? What is that? Sol menier is sol is a fish, is a flat fish, okay, mm -hmm. and it's a classic French uh, recipe. It's a, a task, a homework that I ordered to you, okay, and it's a classic uh, recipe. It's a basic one, and it's based on uh, the sol goes uh, uh, skin out, okay, mm -hmm. goes with the bone, and goes uh, salted and uh, coated in flour, okay? Coated with flour. And then the sole goes fry it, fried in butter. Mm -hmm. Once you have fried the sole in butter, mm -hmm. uh, you can season the butter with a bit of uh, garlic if you want, but once you have uh, uh, fried the sole in butter, you set aside the sole and you add a bit of lemon juice to the butter and a bit of uh, parsley in brunoise, mm -hmm. and then it's a emulsified sauce of the uh, butter used to fry the so the sole with the lemon with the with the parsley, a bit of salt, and this uh, emulsified sauce uh, accompanies uh, covering uh, the sole. Okay, it's a very classic classic uh, uh, French uh, recipe. Okay international recipe okay sol menier very good so what what uh, would be the what would be the the mise en place for this recipe okay so draw a working table describing here you can see what ingredients and tools would be necessary to have on the working table of the 
the ingredients of the recipe are very basic. The salt, butter, uh, lemon juice, and parsley, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what ingredients would you maintain on the table on, and which ones out of the table? I'm sorry, I do not understand the question. The question is, when you prepare the mise en place for mm -hmm. this recipe, mm -hmm. you have to take into account uh, uh, the best way you have a fresh ingredient, which is the fish, salt, okay, which is very delicate. Mm -hmm. So uh, the best way to maintain, to preserve the fish is to touch the to touch it the less uh, as possible. Mm -hmm. So you will uh, remove the skin of the soul mm -hmm. and you will uh, prepare the portion the soul mm -hmm. uh, by order. When the customer, the, the waiter, uh, orders the, the recipe, you will uh, prepare the salt. So the salt, the mis in your mise en place, the salt will be in the refrigerator, not on the table. Okay? okay. Mm -hmm. the, then you have the parsley. The parsley, you can chop it in brunoise beforehand. Mm -hmm. So you will have the set in your table, the mm -hmm. parsley in brunoise. Also, you will have uh, the the butter, mm -hmm. the, you will have the the pan, the butter, the lemon juice. You can have the lemon juice uh, squeezed beforehand. Okay, so you you will have this part in your mise en place. You will have the pan. You need something to flip over the the sole while you are frying it. Okay, you need the salt in your table. Okay, so it's just to describe all of the ingredients you need to prepare this recipe mm -hmm. and which ones have to be previously prepared in your table and which ones not. And know also the reason, okay? If I, uh, listen, if I uh, remove the skin and uh, portion the sole beforehand and I don't sell it, mm -hmm. Uh, the soul could be go off uh, uh, for the next day, okay? Because it's, it's very delicate. The preservation is very, very delicate, okay? That's uh, the things that you have to take into account when you prepare the, you set a mise en place, okay? Because if you are, uh, you in a restaurant, not only uh, will cook this recipe, will cook another recipes of your station, you will have another fishes that you have to cook in your restaurant, okay? So if you, uh, during the service time, you need to squeeze the lemon or chop the, the parsley in brunoise or do everything by order, uh, you won't be able to do it in the, in the proper time, okay? So that's the, the meaning or that's the, the reason to be of mise en place. That was the, the, the sense of this activity, this task, okay? Mm -hmm. Is for your, and it's quite appropriate for your pop-up event. The recipes that, that you are going to, to cook in the pop-up event, when you prepare the mise en place, you have to think carefully which ingredients uh, could you have prepared beforehand and uh, which ones not? If the if your service is uh, like a banquet, I mean, you know beforehand how many customers and what they are going to have for lunch. This is perfect. Then you have pre you can prepare everything because you know beforehand what you are going to sell. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, so you can have everything already prepared. That's perfect. Okay. But yeah. it's important to organize and to to think about uh, what can you have prepared beforehand and what uh, do don't you cannot have prepared beforehand. Okay, that's the the sense of a, a correct mise en place. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have a, I don't uh, have uh, said, but you can interrupt me whenever you need or to ask something, okay? So it's, uh, it's not necessary to say, but uh, you can uh, tell me whatever 
uh, you you want. OK, I have uh, in the chat, I have read uh, for different knives uh, that we use and uh, George says that uh, the use of a Santoku knife, those uh, Japanese knives, okay, related to the previous uh, aspect. Uh, do you do you know the difference between a Japanese knife and our regular knives? Uh, as I have been visit uh, many time in Japan. Ah. So Nice. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I have a little bit experience with the Japanese knife. Mm -hmm. uh, they are using the knife is like a very, very sharper. Like what we are using, it's not like we cannot compare. Like their knife is really sharper. Like yes. if you cut the hair, if you just hold it, the, your hair will be cut it. Like, it's really sharper, like what knife they are using for the sushi, basically mm -hmm. sashimi, not sushi. They are used to be a sashimi. So that knife is really like, it's, <laughs> it's like a butter. When they are yeah. putting in the fish, they are automatically melted. Yeah, they sharp them every day, every day. Yeah. And the, the art or of uh, sharpen uh, these kind of knives is really, you have to be very, very skilled to yeah. to sharpen them properly yeah. and uh, if you have a uh, some bit if you if you have uh, realized the japanese uh, knives have only one edge so it's like uh, from one side of the sharp mm. of the edge sorry is like flat yeah. okay this makes uh, when you cut for sashimi or for sushi when you cut the the fish OK, uh, the blade is, from one side, the blade is flat. OK, and the fish uh, doesn't uh, is you cut, cut it better, specifically the fish, and it doesn't uh, get uh, stuck in the in the blade. OK, so George has uh, answered. Very good. Thank you very much, George. OK, the difference is the handle, of course, the handles are different. OK, and but specifically when you cut the uh, the blade is, is has a flat uh, part. Our our regular knives uh, has the both parts of the blade are uh, like uh, uh, curve, okay, a uh, different shape, okay. Very good. So, is it sorry? Is yeah. it because of that one one part the uh, sharp? So make it more sharp for the Japanese knife, or because of the stylus? Or oh, I I I I quite. Um, yeah. Uh, because we, we were talking about Japanese knife, they're very sharp, and we noted that uh, they are different. And the uh, regular knife, what we have, we have two parts, as you, you, you say. So is it because of that, so make the knife is more sharp, uh, for, for like a Japanese knife? I th uh... More sharp, more, more, sh uh, the, more, more, more sharp, more easy to cut, especially with the fish, uh, than other style of knife, like uh, what we used to have. I think there it's for both reasons. Okay. The the design of the blade helps a lot uh, when when the design of the blade will, will, uh, helps a lot to uh, to cut the fish and to not get uh, stuck the fish in the in the flesh of the fish into the blade. Okay, and also because the way they sharp their their knives. Okay, it's for both reasons. George. Uh, says for starting cooks how many and what are the different knives should be in your bag okay in my opinion in your bag for starting cooks you need a paring knife of course a peeling knife to peel different vegetables the chef knife the chef knife is it's very really really important okay and if you work uh, specifically with uh, raw fish or with, uh, for uh, sushi and this, this stuff, it's good to have uh, a Japanese style knife. Okay, what does it happen with this kind of knives? They are very, very difficult or you have to be uh, very, very skillful, sharpen them and it's very easy to uh, to 
break the, the, the edge of the, of the knife. So, in my opinion, uh, to start with pairing knife and chef knife and the peeling uh, knife for peel, to peeling vegetables could be enough. You can add a serrated knife, which is quite a uh, multi-purpose, okay? But with those knives would be enough, okay? It's, uh, if you are, uh, when, as you get more, uh, you more experienced with knives, okay? As you get more experience, you can buy more expensive knives, even Japanese style knives, okay? But it's really important to know how to sharpen them, okay? Those uh, four, peeling, pairing, chef style knife, and serrated one. And as you get more experience, you can buy more expensive. And then Buenaventura, Elin, says, uh, have a st harder steel than the typical one. Could be that the steel, uh, the composition, would be uh, different, okay? How often, George says, how often do, you, do we need to sharp knives? And also, can you differentiate sharpening from honing the knife? Okay. The the re, the regularity to to sharpen the knife, I think, uh, depending on uh, the use that you make of the knife. Okay. If you you use it uh, a lot, you will need to sharpen it uh, more regularly. But but George. Uh, if you mean uh, honing, I guess you mean to just to maintain uh, the knife at its uh, at its be, uh, optimal way. You can do this every day, okay? Just a bit, okay? It's just uh, to uh, maintain it uh, sharpen. You can do it every day, and a more deep sharpening with a stone. Okay, you can do it uh, depending on the, the the regularity that you use the knife, but you can do it, I don't know, once uh, each two months, something like that, okay? Our uh, routines in our school, George, are we do uh, maintaining the, sh the, the knife, we do it uh, almost every day, but uh, more a deeper sharpening with stones we do it one each three months something like that okay i don't know whether i i have a answer to properly to your question yep i think you answered it right thank you george thank you very much okay okay they are a uh, quarter past uh, 11 okay so uh, we will have uh, a break to have lunch, to have a rest. Okay. If you have more questions, uh, more things to ask me, please feel free to ask. Okay. Uh, it's, it's been really, really nice to be with you. Okay. I uh, would like to thank you your uh, your participation, and we will meet in in half an hour. Okay. Uh, Quarter, uh, in my case, uh, quarter to 12. In your case, uh, quarter to, to one o'clock. In Ireland, uh, quarter to, uh, to 11 o'clock, okay? Thank you very much and see you in half an hour.